Is this thing on? Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another Forever Stranded with me, Tecto and Jock. And following on from the end of last episode, I have been attempting to get the ship pressurized with an atmosphere so we don't need to go around wearing our spacesuit at all times. And I had been liberally spreading oxygen vents all over the place in here and had very little in the way of success. Some of the areas I could get pressurized, but I was using oxygen at a ridiculous rate and, well, a very much unsustainable rate. So I didn't know what to do and I think I might have cracked it. I've got one last thing to try before I call it a day on that idea. And I've been missing one crucial component, or two cru crucial components, rather, because I've been missing the, not the oxygen vents, these things, CO2 scrubbers. Of course, I've been pumping oxygen in, but I've been not dealing with the CO2. So let's put one on either side. That's how they're meant to go. And then we've got to make stuff for going in there. They don't need power, but they do need these things, carbon collection cartridges. Try saying that 10 times quickly. So I want to quickly make some of them. I made these iron sheets, which are made in the rolling machine, um, along with some water. So iron plates and then water and an, uh, in the rolling machine, and we get those out. So we need one of one of each of the, try saying that again we need one in each of the co2 scrubbers now these things do have a durability and um, when we turn this on which i will need a lever for don't need a lever but i'm going to use a lever um so i'm going to put that on here that should in theory, start working. But it is not. Why are you no worky? Aha! That is working. Pressurized. Breathable. Yes. These are working. Now if I open this door? No. Yes. No. Hmm. Okay. Why is that not doing? I need another lever. I'm willing to boot a little bit of effort into problem solving this, but not a huge amount because it was being annoying. Um, and I want. Um, let's just get, let's just get some pressure pads, shall we? No, no, I need stone. Here we go. Let's just make ourselves a couple of them for just now. And let's put that one there. Right, so it pressurizes that, no bother at all. Cool. The question is, how much oxygen is that using? Because before, when I was doing this, I did manage to pressurize this area, but it was using an utterly ludicrous amount of oxygen. So. Um, it will be full of oxygen at the moment. Yes, it is. And if we turn off this, we'll see. It is still coming in. Cool. So this is pressurized. And we still have air in here. Cool. Even though this thing is produce not giving it any um not giving it any oxygen interesting if i open this door but has it used any oxygen no it has not very interesting in fact i'm perplexed as to how that's actually working now because before this was using just stupid amounts of oxygen but no, we don't have anything in here. Well, we do have more oxygen vents. We could move this down actually into this area and have it, you know, pressurizing the whole of this bit. That might work. Let's try moving it. Okay, so we do need this power here. So let's 
let's take this. I've got another transceiver. Let's move it down here. I'm going to cover the bottom here. Maybe put our transceiver there. Fluids receiving, power receiving, don't care about the rest. Um, let's take oxygen vent one of. Oxygen vent on. Let's take our two scrubbers, one on either side. Scrubber one. Oh, ooh, that's interesting that they take, they can stack like that. Very interesting, in fact. And just normal lever. Pressurized, yes. Breathable, yes. It is sustaining that. Let's turn that off at the moment. Still okay, we're okay. Excellent. Everything's okay here. Everything appears to be okay here. Excellent. What about down here? Yeah, everything's fine here. Oh, it's looking good. Now, interestingly, we'll go in here. Ah, that's open to vacuum, that's why. So, if we like that. Yes, pressurized. Perfect. Now we're in here, in the airlock, we do not have atmosphere. We get atmosphere as soon as we open the airlock door. Cool, cool, cool. Same should be the deal deal with here. This is the main personnel airlock. Close in a few seconds. There we go. Yeah, we're in vacuum. Yep, cool. Cool. And we're all good here. Check up here in the now we don't need this one. Ah, now we do need that. We do need that for the rest of these things. And that should be okay. Cool. So we don't have atmosphere in here because this, again, is an airlock. It's just got some other stuff in it. Where's my shuttle? I thought I had my shuttle here. Okay. Cool, we're good here. We're breathable here, cool, cool, cool. And if we go along to the bridge. We are not breathable in the bridge. Why are we not breathable in the bridge? Okay. Maybe we just need a secondary system in the bridge. Um, let's just do that. I will need to make some more scrubbers um, and I'm going to set that up and we might just need secondary environmental system in the bridge. Yeah, as soon as we come through that door, it's maybe just too far or maybe there's something with chunks. There's a chunk border there just before there. Interesting. And this one, we still don't have that even turned on. That's very interesting. I don't know how long that's going to take before it's going to uh, use up that carbon collection capsule or cartridge, I should say. Interesting. Right, let me get another two scrubbers and the carbon collection thing sorted out and then we'll be back in a minute. Just quickly making a chemical reactor because you'll see why in just a second. Uh, I want one of them. Oh, I don't have gold dust, a slab, or iron plates. Okay. Do, 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 do. Iron plates. We'll get a bunch of you. I need gold. Gold dust, please. How do I get gold dust again? Just in a crusher. Do I have a crusher? Uh, yeah, crusher would work. Or this thing. 
I should manage that. Let's quickly just do that. Yeah, I want this because it's the way to recycle the capsules, the carbon collection capsules. I'm wondering, is this going to work? It's giving me pulverized gold from the Thermal Foundation. I wonder if this will work. Yes, it will. Excellent. And I need some slabs of some description. Um, I can tell it to make a bunch of these. Cool. So I can make one of you, and then I need one of you, and then I can make one of you. Yeah, these things, if we have a look at the uses of... Uh, no, that's not what I wanted uses of these things. You can see chemical reactor takes one of these full up ones, although it doesn't show it there, but one of these ones is complete. oh no it does, shows it completely depleted. Um, and what we get out is an empty carbon collection cartridge and some charcoal, which is kind of handy in a way. So yeah, we can get rid of the carbon and then feed these back in. It only takes two seconds to be able to run that, so it'd be well worth doing and I've also got some other upgrades for up into the spaceship as well or the starship as I'm wanted to call it so we are pressurized here we should be pressurized throughout yep everything's working here I've hidden the power I've turned it to the redstone control is off it doesn't appear to be using all the oxygen in the entire world Everything's fine up here as well. I've kept the doorway because, um, well, it, we've got these two systems. Clearly there is some sort of issue between the two. So if there is a loss in pressure in one of the areas, I want to be able to keep it so that, um, well, so that the, the two areas are fed by their own systems. So I've made myself dark pressure plates, two of, and I've painted them with quite clear glass. So what will happen is, I'll put these down and you can see it's invisible, other than the little outline from uh, Wayla. So we'll be able to go through here like this, and the door will just open for us. And we're not going to have any kind of issues. I wanted to keep this dimensional transceiver open to the elements, because um, that's our way of feeding uh, the lithium crystals in. So if I go uh, the lithium crystals, see we've got four there. Let's just grab those four that are sitting. I can put them into the send buffer and they're going to go through into our warp core, which of course is through here. Now this I don't think we can actually see. It doesn't give us any indication, I don't think, of how much is in there. Um, and if we go out, let's go out through the airlock. Might put those dark pressure plates in here as well. Yeah, I might do that. Might do that because it's a bit boring waiting 10 seconds. But let's go out here and in this dimensional transceiver. Yeah, I must have actually put the dilithium crystals into the thing. So I could probably lift this up. And have a look in there. Yeah, we've got loads in there, so we've got plenty to be going on with. Let's make sure that's the correct one. That's no, receiving fluids. I don't think that is the correct one. So receiving the lithium. Okay, we can take that out of there. And it's receiving main power. Cool, that's all good. Right, let's go back through. And yeah, I think I think perhaps dark pressure plates on these doors might be a good idea for this one. Um, and we'll go through here. And I have cleared out the gravity controller. I've also cleared out these, so it's just the, the ladders are on the floor. So we've got all of the corridor to work with. But I've cleared out the gravity controller in here since that idea was a little bit of a bust, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but we can put this chemical reactor in here. And in fact, I'm going to move that back one. There we go. So we're going to have the actual chemical reactor itself goes there. We're going to need a motor of some description. We're not going to use the advanced one. We're just going to use the normal motor. We've got power plugs, which we have here and here. 
we've got a fluid input hatch. I believe we need two of these. Fluid input, fluid input. I've got a normal input hatch there in my hand. I've got output, fluid output, and a machine structure block. That should Yes, it has formed. Excellent. Couldn't see that for a second. Just took a moment. And uh, the chemical reactor is a go-go. Right. This will need uh, power to go into it, which will need to go out here and down there. Now, this has got power coming in. Yep. And we don't need any fluids, so we'll take that one off. So we've got plenty power, excellent. And then we're going to have, where's the output? That's the normal input input hatch, isn't it? No, that's the structure block, that's the input hatch there. So I would quite like another conduit. Um, we've only got a few normal conduits, and I would like to make some more. Well, we do have conduit recipe in there, so we can uh, let's just do that. And I've got some of those, right? So we're going to be coming out the back, and that's an input hatch. That's that's not an input hatch. That's an output hatch. So we're going to need to go like that, and then up and over. Yeah, so let's not extract from there. That input hatch is going to go in the way. And it's only going to insert these. Hmm, we could do with setting it with the advanced ones, but let's let's blacklist those and car um, charcoal. Yeah. So if we say you are not allowed to stick those or those in there, um, and we'll ignore method, and nah, no, we'll leave metadata at the moment, right? Okay. And then over here, we're going to say that's off as well. And then this is going to be extracting from here. It's going to extract anything. And then this is going to say. It's in and out, but it is extracting. All is active, but we're going to extract and we're going to blacklist that and that. Yeah, inserting anything. Yeah, that should work. That should work. And now we turn it on. So it's not going to do anything at the moment. Um, and we need another channel on this. And we're going to call this carbon. So we're going to be receiving on the carbon channel here. OK. Which means these ones are probably going to last a long time. But we need to get to the... Need to get to the... Um, dimensional transceiver under there, but we'll worry about this one first, shall we? So we're going to have... Oh, oh, we're in a vacuum now, because I've buried, burrowed underneath that. Okay, well, let's go... Ah, that's interesting. That acts as a, a full block, does it? Interesting. And... We'll go, you go there, and there. We should have more of these conduits. Yes, we do. And we will need to set these up. That they, I think we're going to need more, f better filters. Uh, we're going to need the filter that is 
set for these when they're completely done. That's fine. Well, we can worry about that in a little while, I think. In the meantime, we can close that up like that, that up like that, and I think that and that and that. That'll be okay. So, yeah, we just need to get the carbon filters filtered into there. And that was daft. Yeah. And we do the same thing under there. And we'll be in good shape. So we are all pressurized. So I can quite happily ah, take my helmet off. Excellent. Even when I open this, that's not going to bother me. Cool. Very, very cool. Quite happy with that. We are in good shape. Well, there we go. We've got oxygen throughout the ship now. I've got the pressure pads sorted out that I can wander through that door if I don't bash into the wall. Um, I've even got pressure pads here. So the main airlock is a lot e <laughs> is a lot easier to traverse. And um, we're good there. This airlock is also sorted out with one bit there. Still got a switch there, but that's fine. Getting out is okay like that. And then we can go back in. Wait for that to close. And there we go. That will also take a little bit to close, but it doesn't matter because we're pressurized in here. Same sort of deal here for this shuttle bay. So we're now in a non-breathable atmosphere. We can open that door, we can get out. Um, still non-breathable here until we open this door, which I'm not going to do whilst that door is open because it's spectacularly wasteful. We're all good there. Let's uh, refill our charge pad like that. That's all good. All good, very happy. Everything's going okay. Don't have this set up yet. It's going to take a long time for us to get a carbon collection cartridge that's completely um, full up, depleted, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we'll worry about that the next episode. I think it's probably time to finish the um, finish the engine section on this. Obviously, we don't have a drive unit for our warp core to be able to do anything with at the moment. Um, and then it'll be time to take this thing for a spin. I'm very much looking forward to that. Until the next time, everybody, cheery bye and have a fun.